data warehouse star schema. Uh, this is uh, Kalmantov. This is a short video on uh, star schema in a data warehouse. You will learn during this lesson what are dimension and fact tables, what is foreign key and primary key relationship. You will see a star schema diagram and you will learn about multi-level dimensions. Microsoft uh, Business Intelligence Platform consists of uh, three components and this is followed by the instructional products from SQL USA. SSIS or Integration Services is uh, for data transfer and data transformation. Analysis Services or SSAS is uh, for managing multi-dimensional objects such as OLAP cubes. Also the components, dimensions, measures and hierarchies. And SSRS reporting services is to deliver business intelligence to business intelligence consumers. So let's start. We are in uh, Management Studio, SQL Server 2008, and uh, we see the AdventureWorks DW 2008 database uh, drill down is um, expanded. Let's uh, open Internet Sales Star Schema. Close Object Explorer. Right click in the white background area and zoom to 25%. And this is the Star Schema. The star is the fact table. A fact table may contain millions of measures with the related foreign key relationships to the dimensions table, such as date dimension, product dimension, which includes category and subcategory, and customer dimension, currency dimension. So this is the star scheme of a star surrounded by planets and the planets are the dimension tables. Let's check out the relationship a little bit closer. For example, the relationship between the fact and the product table or the triple relationship between the fact table and the date dimension table. Right click, zoom 100%. So the relationship is many to one relationship between uh, the fact table, this is a product key, and the dimension table where the product key is a primary key. Now why do we have three way relationship to the date dimension? Because the order date key is related with due date key and the ship date key as well. So when we right click on the fact table and we look at relationships, we see all the foreign key relationships listed. So this one is, uh, for example, uh, to a currency dimension. And uh, if we drill down, we'll see the relationship, the nature of the relationship so effect internet sales, foreign key columns, currency key is related to a primary key in the dimension dim currency table to a currency key. A typical foreign key to primary key relationship. Let's exit um, from the star scheme or diagram back to object explorer. So a data warehouse is a second-hand data which is derived in this instance primary from the transactional database AdventureWorks 2008, but in a real business environment the data sources may be Oracle databases as well in addition to SQL Server databases. IBM DB2 databases, Excel spreadsheet, Access personal databases, flat files as well can be data sources for the data warehouse. 
The most important thing, the data warehouse never has primary data. It's always second-hand data. AdventureWorks itself is a fictional company invented by Microsoft staff. It's a sophisticated sample database to demonstrate SQL Server, analysis services, integration services, and reporting services. We are looking at the product catalog in Business Intelligence Development Studio, and we are in a reporting services project, so the product catalog is actually a SSRS report. Click on Road Bikes and on Mountain Bikes. Let's uh, return to Management Studio and let's take a look at some of the tables. For example, what's in the dim date table? Select top 1000 rows, close Object Explorer, and uh, this is what we see. So we see lots of uh, information which is necessary either uh, to do reports uh, from the data warehouse directly or use it to build an OLAP cube. This is a, a multi-level dimension which is used for hierarchy building in a, an OLAP cube because besides the day information, the date information, we see the month information, we see quarter information, semester information and year information. So it's called a flat dimension because all the levels are in one dimension table. Let's uh, take a look at a fact table. So fact table contains the measure, the all important measures such as sales. Select top 1000 rows. So this is uh, the measure one of the measures with our total product cost, the standard cost as well, tax amount, freight. So these are the measures and when we see the foreign key connection to the dimensions tables and we also we see some other uh, columns uh, which are not measures or not foreign keys such as uh, revision number which is used for maintenance uh, purposes. So a star schema is uh, the relationship between the fact table and the dimension tables. If uh, we are talking about a snowflake schema which is the other alternative to star schema, it would look different uh, because in a snowflake schema we would see a lot more tables and we would see tables starting out for example from dim date for quarter, months and year and similarly from product for category and subcategory so we would see snowflaking all around. Star schema and snowflake schema designs are the most popular in data warehouse design. This is the end of the short demo.